How to edit in Wix website. First, here on your dashboard, especially when you have several websites created under the same Wix account, go to the uh, button on the upper left. It's beside the Wix logo. Make sure to select that specific website you want to edit in. And once you click on it, you'll be redirected to that specific website's dashboard. Now click on design site. So that will be taken to the Wix editor. All right, and so here we are on the Wix editor. So we're gonna start editing our website now. By the way, I just wanted to um, say in advance that Apart from editing our home page, it's also very important that we edit the other web pages of our website. So to do that, go to the pages and menu button, but you can also go here on the page. So switch page, uh, switch page button, see all the pages on your site and switch between them. But I like to go to the pages and menu button instead. So this is where I can see all of my web pages. So basically, if um, you can click on the web page that you want to start editing first. Um, but in my case, I'm just going to start with our home page. So since we're here, let's talk about how to actually edit them. If you want to quickly edit a specific section on your web page, then just click on that specific section. Look for the quick edit button that will usually appear, but if it doesn't, just click on the pencil button. This is also the quick edit button. Once you do that, you'll be able to um, see your side panel over here. So let's try to change our strip background into a different color. But if you like, you can even change it to an image or even to a video. Let's try a video because I don't think I've tried that before. You can upload your own media by clicking on Upload Media over here. But since I don't have my own media, I'm just going to use Wix's free images and free videos. So I'm going to search here, Cooking. And I'm going to look for a nice cooking video that we can use. Or maybe, say, Dessert, for example. I don't think I can find anything nice, so maybe I should just go for a color instead. I'd like to go for a nice color that would dis um like that would suit our dessert theme. So I'm going to change our accent color to something like this perhaps. And I'm going to click on apply. And I'm going to select an accent color. That. And I'm going to click on, or oh, maybe I should. I'm going to click on apply and I'm going to click on change color theme. So our color theme has been changed. And if you like, oh, well, I'm just going to close that. I'm going to click on this section and click on quick edit again so we can see our side panel. And if you like, you'll have plenty of other options here. So for horizontal menu, Add, edit, or reorder menu items from your site pages. I'm going to click on Manage Menu. And I don't think I can... Okay, I don't think I'd like to change anything there. So I'm just going to uh, further explain the other things you can change over here. So our image, for example. If you'd like to change your logo or change your image, you can do so by clicking that here. I'm going to adjust its settings. I'd like to adjust it. I'd like to change it to um, a 
different color instead. And click on Save so that it'll show up on our header. I hope, okay, it did save the changes, so that's good. And now I'm going to click on Back, and then you can also edit your title and change other elements that are here on this section. If you'd like to edit individual elements, click on that element and tools will appear here. So you can edit text, create AI text, apply animations, and apply a specific link to it. I'm just going to click on edit text and change its color to black. Or maybe this one. Okay, that's much better. You can do the same thing for all of your other elements over here. Uh, by the way, you can also use the tools here on the sidebar. So we have the Add Elements button. This is where you can add individual elements like texts, images, buttons, strips, and so much more. If you'd like to add an entire section instead, then go to the Add Section button. They have plenty of preset templates that you can choose from. And in case you like a specific, um, if you like a specific um, template, you can just easily drag it onto your page, just like that. And if you'd like to delete a specific um, section or a specific element, you can hit uh, click on it and hit the delete key on your keyboard and it'll delete that section for you. Next, pages and menu. So just like I said earlier, this is where you can access all the different web pages within your website. Next, we have the site design. So this is where you can change your chat, change your theme, such as your color theme, text theme, page background, and add page transitions as well. Next, you have the Wix app market. So this is where you can search for apps that you can install within your website to make it more functional. Uh, go to the search bar and look for specific um, uh, apps. For example, a chat, if you'd like to incorporate or integrate a a chat bot onto your Wix website, you can click on uh, the search bar and type in chat and go to Wix chat. And if you want to install a certain app, just click on uh, add to site. Usually it'll say add to site, but in this case it says open and that's because this feature has already been previously installed. Next we have my business. So this is a very important tool because depending on or no matter what kind of website you created with Wix, you'll be able to find all of that website's um, function and management tools here on the My Business app button. Uh, My Business button, I mean. So for the Wix blog, this is where you can create posts, manage your blog, etc. If you have a Wix store, you'll be able to see that here. And you'll be able to manage your products inventory over here. Um, same goes for all other types of websites in Wix. And by the way, this is also where you can find the apps that you've installed. We've installed Wix chat before, so yeah, you can see the chat, a Wix chat feature over here, um, as well as all the other um, features we've installed. Then we have media, where you can upload your media. This is where you can also connect your socials so that you can directly import your media from those accounts to Wix. And if you don't have your own media, this is also where you can find um, Wix's library of free images and videos. Uh, they also have a photo studio and video maker. 
For CMS, I don't normally use this one, but if you want to know what this is, uh, basically it'll help you set up content collections, create hundreds of dynamic pages, and collect info from site visitors. If you think this is something that your website needs, then click on Add to Site. And finally, we have Wix's AI tools. So if you're having a hard time trying to create texts for your web um, websites text um, yeah if you know what I mean then they have the text creator um, they also have a section generator so yeah get a ready-to-use section with text and images for any page on your site and if you want to know what this web, um, what this button is for well this is just a layer button this is where you can see the different layers within the page that you're working on so we have the header, page, and the footer. And basically, um, after you finish editing, make sure to always save your changes. And if you're ready to publish your website, then you can go ahead and click on Publish. And that's all for today. We hope you found today's video of help somehow. If you need more Wix tutorial videos, check out our channel and consider subscribing. Thanks so much for watching. We look forward to seeing you again in the next video. You guys have a great day.